All right, so game one of Australian Masters, I'm versing Matt Morris. How are you going? So, do some take us through your list quickly. All right, cool. So we've got a. Uh Five Salon players in Tau together. We've got uh, Commander Ovesa here, uh, the second Riptide here, joining the same unit with the Buff Commander. We've got two Skyrays. Uh, over here, we've got two individual missile suits, so uh, two missiles each. In Deep Strike, we've got Fast Sight and three Double Flamer suits with a Marker Drone. Uh, some broadsides hiding in the Bastion, and a bunch of crew uh, in reserve ready to outflank on. All right, and so I've got my deployment. So we got both our fortifications. There's a Bastion there, and there's the Fire Salon Redoubt. My Turvagon, Fireballs, two Hive Tyrants, Morlock, and Reserve is all my goodness. Alright. Alright, so Tau and Farsight Enclaves, and what we've got here are the two Riptides. One of the Riptides is the um, independent character one, and you've got the Buff Commander, all their drones, so you've got a huge Doom Squad there. Um, really good one, because it's a big shooting thing. Then you've got a fortification that hides behind, and... A bastion with um, <laughs> high yield missile broadsides sitting inside, which also then you know makes the heavy bolters auto shoot. That's pretty much the centerpiece of the army. Then you've got two sky shield, uh, two sky rays, which is always good, and just little bits and pieces, which makes it not annoying, but it's a really interesting list. Uh, this is one that's I wasn't particularly. Um, thrilled about because I think this is one of the stronger um, tower lists um, and it panned out exactly that way so my main goal here in terms of deployment um, so I've got the firestorm readout and I've got the bivores who go and sit inside it so I deploy it out so I couldn't get shot, shot first turn if he seized I jump inside now I've got las cannons that elder fire as well as bivores my turvagon because we've got the two um, objectives down here or is it, or is it one objective A anyway um, Turvagon's just running back and forward, just, you know, I'm pressuring a little bit, getting him to shoot at me rather than my half tyrants, and then running backwards. Um, he, I guess he took the bait, he got, he got one wound, no, he got, he got him down to one, that's right, he unloaded with everything, at Turvagon got it down to one wound, and got my half tyrants down to one, uh, one of my half tyrants down to one wound, so I actually haven't lost first blood yet. And I thought I was being very, very clever here. So you can see I flew my Hive Tyrants around there, line of sight blocking. Um, everything's in cover and all that. And I haven't lost first blood. Excellent. My Doom now drops in. You can see him here, top left-hand corner. He's within one inch of uh, one of his units. The commander's actually the closest unit. So he's only got one Interceptor, which is one of the Riptides has Interceptor. Um... And so he couldn't use the big blast template on top of Doom. And I go, cool. He hopefully won't die. He's only got an intercepting... Um, you can see he was just trying to there. He's only got one intercepting melter gun thing. And of course he hits. He wounds. And I found my one save. One intercepting shot kills Doom. That really annoyed me. If he had survived, it would have been a much easier game. I've got to say that. It's because... I set up now for a turn two, uh, I was going to go for a turn two lucky charge if Doom was there, um, just seeing you know how Doom went. Um, didn't happen, so now my half tyrants are going into the Bastion, breaking out those guys outside, um, hopefully forcing them to come out, and then my, all the, uh, my las cannons, you know, take out the broadsides, and kind of lock in that unit. So you can see I fully surrounded his Doom, uh, Death Squad. For me, I was just killing all his troops, as much troops as I could kill, um, I was going for, and I actually by the end of the game, I killed all his troops except for one, no, two crisis suits, that's right, two crisis suits that come in with um, Farsight, um, I killed all his, sorry, I killed all his crew, I killed, I, I killed um, everything except for one troop unit, <laughs> which annoyed the hell out of me. Um, one of the things, and it actually happens all through the tournament, so if you're watching the rest of the videos, um, you'll see my Turvagon that outflanks, I actually roll a 1 every single game. So I've got a 2 plus um, to come on, because of Hive Commander. Every single game, turn 2, I roll for him. The rest of them generally come in, but that Turvagon, the outflanking Turvagon, I roll a 1. 
So, except for one game, the earliest he comes on is actually turn three. Uh, one of the games I had the Warlord re-roll reserve thing, so I actually managed to get him on, but I rolled one still. And that's what's happened here. So, we're... What are we? I think it's turn three there. And... Um, for me, again, it's... it's one objective each, hammer and anvil thing, just killing all these troops. You can hear, here we go, the Biovores doing their work. Um, I think I picked the right targets. I mean, it just, the Doom getting intercept killed, big pain, and then not getting the outflanking Turvagon, which really would have helped. So, if um, he came on, so there's two options. He came on now, and he's pressuring his objective right now from the right to the left. Or he comes on now and he's coming back to support my objective. So I own my objective completely with two scoring Turvagons. And then he spawns another unit. So I have two options here about what I can do if he came on this turn. <laughs> Didn't happen, unfortunately. Um, anyway, here, this is a, a really good thing about this unit. So because it's so wide and it can really spread right out and it all still gets ignores cover and all that type of shenanigans so you can see here he's um, just shoot I think he's only shooting with like two missile pods and two riptides um, but he can still clear out it was I think it was like 15 termagons there just one round of shooting nothing I can do about it so uh, I don't know if... Uh, I'll, I'll say this is fine. I mean, I'm not going to say if it's balanced or not. It's, um, I'm really hanging out for the, for the new um, Tyranny Codex. But just when you can't do anything about it, it it makes it just... I'm not going to say point and click because he, he played it really well. Um, Matt, he picked the right targets. He split out when he should have. He knew what he d had to do to win the game. But it just meant that there was very little I could do to prevent it without having a different army, I'm guessing. You know, like if you can't if you don't have cover and you can never get cover, that's something you can't really work around because it doesn't matter how much you block out a line of sight. Like in that case, you see I, I was hiding behind the building so he'd have to right come in. But he just spreads out so now he can see at least one model with every single just one. And then he can kill all of them. Um, anyway, it ended up, um, my Turvagon came on, he spawned, um, got on top of the objective, but SMSs don't need a line of sight, and killed the last three guys. I actually only spawned four guys, and that's really what happened. If I spawned more, um, then it might have been a different story. Anyway, good game.